are going to be insulted because you're a winner. Winners always get insulted by losers. They're gonna call you arrogant. They're gonna call you condescending. They're gonna call you, they're gonna throw a bunch of insults at you, but what they're not gonna say, what they're not gonna do is they're not gonna be able to beat you. It is going to dog it. Anytime someone is a winner, they have haters. Name me how many people hate Tom Brady and the Patriots. But you know who doesn't hate them? Patriots fans. People hate the Dallas Cowboys because they're called America's team. All winners have haters. Now, we understand that at the high levels, you know, and as sports and entertainment, but here at the, in the middle levels, trying to get to the elite levels and to the top 10%, I need you guys to understand something. People are going to come at you. They're gonna say, you're, like I said, one of the biggest ones they're gonna call you is you're, you're, you're full of yourself. You think you're so this, you think you're so that. You know who are gonna say that? People who are trying to keep you down. They're not telling you that because they think less of you. They're telling you that because you have the nerve to believe in yourself and stand on what it is you believe. You're gonna have men throw it at you, but what you're not gonna have is some guy who's above, above you or better than you throwing it at you. You're never gonna have somebody that you're trying to compete with saying you're arrogant, you're gonna say, all right, that's, that's, what, I, that's what I mean, do it. Be courageous, push, push, push. That's right. Matter of fact, you're gonna have winning kind of guys be like, yeah, yeah, do that, do that. You know the guys who are gonna throw it at you? The guys who don't wanna do the work. Guys that don't want you to put, make it so hard for them. Then of course they're gonna call you all these things. Look at him, you're over there trying to be opportunistic and you're over there trying to schmooze and you're over there trying to glad hand. I'm gonna keep it real. It's always to keep it real dudes. What they're really saying is I, wanna, I want you to stay down here. I don't want you to shine so bright it makes it hot on me. Could you, could you not be so good? Could you, could you not shine so bright? Could you not make me look like I'm just average and mediocre? That's what's at the basis of all this other kind of stuff. And I get so tired of guys who are smart, who are accomplished, who are capable, who have the stuff that it takes dumbing themselves down to make other people feel better. Listen to me when I tell you this. Man, there have been so many times that guys have thought, if I just failed, if I just failed, they like me more. And what you're gonna find is if you fail, you become just like the people that you think would like you more, they're going to not, they're gonna still not like you. Matter of fact, they're gonna resent you. They're gonna say, look, I understand why I'm a failure. I understand why I didn't do it, but look, he had all these opportunities. He ended up right here. You don't do them any favors by failing. You know what you do? You go ahead and become the man you need to be. You go ahead and get up to the top, the top of the top, 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 the tippy, tippy top. You get your name up on Mount Rushmore. You, cl you climb Everest, you make as much, you go as high, you go as far as you can and let the haters stand outside and call you whatever outside of the gates. That's right, outside the gates of your mansion, outside, while you're flying on your G6, let them call you all that crap from coach or on the bus. I'm a firm believer in this. That's why I was gonna make notes on this, but I'm sorry, I'm just going off the cuff because I have seen this stuff so much in my life. I've had the people throw stuff like that at me, but you know what? I've never had somebody doing better than me call me any of this stuff. And it's one of the things, it's one of the few things that you can rest assured that if you wanna be better than 90% of people, you're going to have people throw shit at you. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Especially the men that you are beating. Now, let's whip it up. The women that say it, the women that say it, they don't understand it. why, why they're saying it, because you make it harder for them to actually keep your attention. Oh, did I say that out loud? See, if you are, I've never had a woman call me arrogant or I'm gonna take that back, take it back. Let me not be a hyper, hyperbolic. Arrogant is a compliment for most women. Arrogant is a compliment for most women because it's like, damn, you got balls. You have, you have courage. You have the, you actually have the courage of your convictions. You have enough to stand on it and say it directly to their face and not flinch. So embrace it. Embrace the arrogance. What's the difference between cocky and confidence? Is see, it's not bragging if it's true. If you're a winner, you're a winner. It's not bragging. The difference between cocky and confidence, I, I look at it, you can be cocky when you have the confidence that you know you're gonna put the work in to get it done. There's one thing to sit around and talk about something and you don't have the work, the hashtag show your work, you don't have the receipts, you don't have the numbers, you don't have the facts, you don't have the data, you just have the belief in yourself. Well, I'm still a proponent for that because here's the thing, only you know whether or not you're gonna do the work. But if you can say you're gonna do great things, you're gonna be great, 
because you know that you're going to do the work, then do it. Say it. Say it and make it and put the pressure on yourself. Put the pressure on yourself to hold yourself accountable. So when you do make the result, when you do do, when you accomplish what it is you say you're going to accomplish, nobody can say anything other than he may be arrogant. He may be